tylerz.com. 50% off. Happy Thursday. Welcome to Education and welcome to another episode of Try Not to Laugh. You guys, tylerz.com, 50% off everything. We still have some stuff. A couple things already sold out, but get over there. Get your uh, your Halloween hat, all you hunters. Get your orange. Safety first, man. Get your orange for this hunting season. Get over to TylerZ.com and get your deals today. 50% off. The store is closing soon. And it won't be open again until next spring. So head over there right now. You got to do it. And then come back to this video. Or maybe we should play today's game first. So if you're ready, head down and like this video. And if you're new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. Try not to laugh. Go. Old people when the card reader says, please remove card. I mean, I gotta say, I've done that myself. You know, you're not thinking, your mind's somewhere else. And Anyways, keep the Mitch McConnell memes coming. I love it. It's just, it's never ending. He deserves it. Keep them coming. Sonny is going to get a trip to the mound. This is the trainer coming out here. Going to go out and check out Sonny Gray. Oh, this does not look good, folks. Oh, man. Yikes. I had a rock in my shoe and I couldn't get it out. <laughs> twins. Here we go, twins. I, I have to say it. We're going to win the World Series. We're about to make the playoffs. World Series, man. It's, it's going to happen. You heard it here first. It's 2023, and you start a meeting with, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Bring him out the hell out of here! Hurry, come on, move! Hang on! What the f*** did I do wrong? Tell me! <laughs> what did you do wrong? You're living in the past, man. You're living in the past. It's 2023. You're freaking fired. You're canceled. You're kicked out of the meeting. You start using ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Apparently, couples who run together can further improve their relationship. <sighs> Apparently going for a run together is good for your marriage, but it just annoys me. It always takes twice as long. She's so slow. Oh. Come on. Oh, dude. <laughs> Laugh that you're going to hell, man. Sarah, on a scale of one to 10, how much do you love coming to Costco with your wife? Not very good. Been there twice in a week. What's, what's the number? Minus zero. <laughs> Look, man, if you watch his education, you would know you never, ever, ever go there with your wife. You don't. My wife, she loves to go up every aisle, loves to see what the deals are. You know, I don't want to do that. I just want to go get the pre-made meals, get the protein bars and go. That's it. That's all I want. In and out. Easy. That's not what you're going to get. You did this to yourself. If you watch his education, you would know that. We've been teaching this lesson for a long time. You don't fall for that one. Ever see Buffalo chicken wrap like this? We ordered a chicken buffalo wrap at our restaurant and they put oh actual buffalo wings in the wrap. <laughs> <sighs> That's an employee that or a restaurant that just doesn't care. Seriously, what are you really going to chomp into some chicken bones, huh? My wife at Target buying throw pillows. One more. No! Give me one <laughs> One more. You gave in, man. You gave in. It's over. Great movie. Great movie. Rookie of the year. We're getting into that time of year too. Uh, September, late at September, October baseball playoffs. Fun time of year for baseball. But back to the point of this here. You're gonna lose, bro. You're gonna lose. Just don't even argue. I love wedding registries because there are no rules that I know of. Okay, let's go through it. Great. Organizer. Great. Organizer. Great. Yep. That's kind of fun. Yep. Oh, bird feeder. Sure. Weird, okay. Oh, a little coat for the dog. Sure, why yep. not? Okay, sure. Reasonable. reasonable. All right. Okay, you're getting a little crazy. We have a B. X <laughs> PlayStation? What the hell? And then just... Oh, come on. <laughs> And then I wanted a Star Galaxy projector happy birthday decoration. And then the the Tide Pods, we need them. And <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> a water fountain, huh? You're kidding me. 
Thirteen hundred dollars. Can we just like for the wedding thing? Can we just start doing cash, straight cash? It, it removes a lot of hassle for everyone. Just let the person have the cash for their wedding. Say, hey, here's a hundred bucks. Here's fifty bucks. Whatever you want to give. Uh, go do whatever with it. Put it towards your honeymoon. Do whatever. That's. Can we just do that? Me checking in to see if my husband got our toddler settled down and ready for bed. <laughs> my husband and toddler. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Dads out there, maybe you can confirm this. I mean, it's a thing. Like, when you're getting ready for bed, you just feel like it's you got to start playing. You know? Get them all hyped up before bed. I don't know why. I don't try to do it on purpose. It's just like, oh, it feels like it's time to play now. Addison, what's a Democrat? Do you know what a Democrat is? Yeah, it's not dad. It's the complete opposite of dad. <laughs> mm. Love your dad. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's fucking <hard. laughs> You got a good dad. Point of view, you just got home from the golf course and your wife is rage cleaning. Hey, I'm home. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm in danger. Yeah. You scheduled one too many tea times this week, mom. You're going to be in trouble <laughs> if she, you get home and she's rage cleaning. It's over, dude. Somebody farted during a wedding. Get out of here. Dude, no, you did not. Are you kidding me? Grow up. Like, there's a time and a place for that. If you're if you're cutting in the middle of a freaking wedding ceremony, uh, you really don't like the marriage that's about to happen, or. You're stuck in third grade. I don't know. And there's no problem with that in some certain situations, okay? Serious business meetings, uh, you know, funerals. Not at a wedding, man. You, you got the vaccination? Yeah. Are, are, you, are you okay? I mean, you seem, no, it works. Or, you you know, or, 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 or the mom and dad or, 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 or the neighbor or when you go to church or when you're, no, I, I, I really mean it. There are trusted interlocutors. Think of the people. If, if your kid wanted to find out whether or not there were, there's a man on the moon or whatever, you know, something, or, you know, whether those aliens are here or not. Did we ever translate that? Like what he was actually trying to say? Does anyone know? I mean, that was from a while ago. Try to find the, the sound bites now and translate. It's impossible. The guy is gone. He's on a different planet. Purposely giving my child too many nuggets so I can eat some. Oh, looks okay. You got them afterwards, dude. You can. Here's a. All right, that's not a bad idea. Is that the Chick Fil A sauce? Delicious. Chick Fil A sauce sauce is delish. Uh, what I will say here, okay. You have, it looks like he's yeah six ish, seven ish. That might be all right. If you do this for a toddler, you're going to want to eat the chicken nuggets first. Like when you're bringing them the chicken nuggets. Otherwise, you know, they're going to be dipped in milk. There's, you know, those grubby little dirty hands are going to be trying to feed them to the dog and licking them off. You know, come on. You got to play the age. You want some nuggies? Maybe you just make a plate for yourself. Suck up, suck down your pride. Just make the nuggies for yourself. Cowboys fans getting ready for today's game versus the Raiders. Game time, baby. We them boys. <laughs> yeah, we them boys. <laughs> uh, it's been a while since we've seen a Bud Light joke. That's a good one. That's a good one. I will say they looked pretty good against, um, well, who did they play the first week? The Giants? They, they have a good shot. They, they're a pretty good team. All right, let's just be honest. This lady in front of me had five guys. What the? Oh, my. It took me a second to see it. What in the hell? Why? Why? You know, have, have pets, have snakes if you want them. Wearing them out in public as an accessory is weird. Okay, let's just be honest. That's 
That is weird as hell. Terrifying too. If I walked up on that and saw a freaking snake about to chomp me, oh man. Oh, look at him. Look at those little guys. Babe, look at all the chickens. They're looking at me. They're gonna go to the nicest farm ever. I bet and have a nice time. Here's a little life hack. I saw this. Um, if you buy the, the two chicken breasts in a pack, you can pay a lot more. You can buy the whole chicken. You're going to have to cut it up yourself, but for about the same price, you get extra chicken. Just there's a little life hack for you. Brandon from Shreveport. I got you, bro. Hey, look here for a minute. Uh, if your name's Brandon and you're from the Shreveport area, you don't know me, but uh, you put me down as a reference for that equipment operating job. I'm assuming you got your numbers mixed up. But I just need you to know, dog. Uh, I went to war for you. Stood on all 10, son. You probably gonna get that job. Because I let them know you can run anything from a shovel to a traco to run the job, to put them in the <laughs> office, clean the toilets. It don't matter. I told them how you know how to weld, electrician, uh, certified plumber, um, jack of all trades, man. I told them how you don't you don't take vacation. Got to kick them off location. I told them how <laughs> only Christmas gift you need, come to work. Brandon, that boy ain't seen his kids since they was born. Ten years old. All he does, work, 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 work. Put in all the overtime. Told him that you're going to bankrupt the company, how much he's going to pay you. So, told him if I had two of you, two of Brandon, send the rest of the boys home. Don't need them. So, just saying, dog, when uh, it comes time to them checks, just remember your boy, all right? You got the job, right? Is that That's all that matters. You got, you got, he helped you out. He got you the job. Be thankful. I don't think people talk about this enough. Brittany Griner is having a really good season. She's playing well. Meanwhile, I looked up Victor Bout, the guy we traded her for. Nothing. Dude is putting up zero stats. <laughs> no hits, no results. This was a good trade for America. She's playing great. Guy doesn't have any rebounds even. Not assists, no minutes on the court. Great trade. Just kidding. Bought a limo off Facebook Marketplace for a bachelor party. I can already tell you right now, that's a terrible idea. Well, hopefully, he didn't spend a lot. All right, here it comes. Looks nice. Uh, looks 30 minutes <laughs> 30 minutes in, new alternator. Uh, made it to Louisiana. You can gamble there. It looks nice inside. Headed home. Headed home to Texas. Three hours in, rear brake fluid was leaking and caused the brake assembly to catch on fire. That's what happens, brah. Hey, at least you, you made it home. Limped it to a shop. Had to have family come get us three hours away. Dude. Oh, man. Hopefully the trip was worth it. Hopefully you guys at least won some money. Paid off the freaking limo. Had a couple good stories. But lesson there, don't buy a limo off of Facebook Marketplace. That seems like one we shouldn't have to say, but here we go. We learned a lesson. When the laundry is done drying, but it has to be folded and put away. I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. <laughs> don't do it, man. We've already talked about this. Just if you're feeling motivated, do it. If you don't, whatever you're feeling, pick out of the laundry bin for the week. Whatever, man. Point of view, parents, when you sit your cup down for 0 0.0001 seconds. I already know what's going to happen. This is my mom every time. Every time we go over there, I, I literally have to tell her, don't touch this cup. I'm using it for the entire time we're here. If you put it in the dishwasher, I'm going to be pissed. I don't say that. I promise. Uh, but she always grabs the cup and puts it in the dishwasher every time. Boomers kick back in their 1.3 million home. They bought an 87 for $12.99 while we all panic. Yeah, congrats, boomers. Congrats. Can this continue? Can the housing madness continue? Will you ever own a home? Probably not. Sadly. Things are out of control. I've been chasing this high for years. Oh, yeah. The original gamble, man. The original. You don't know what you're going to get. You get the sticker. What do you got? What did they give you for 50 cents? And, eh, not bad. 
Not bad. But, uh, you know, that's not the one you wanted. Be honest. Rant of the year. Why? Because I'm not a Fairweather fan who bails on their teams. You were born here. This is your curse. Suck it up. Join the party. The worst party in the history of mankind. But you're in the party. You're on the invite list. You can't get out. You can't get out. No, have you ever heard the song Hotel California? It should be called Hotel Minnesota because there's a line where it's like, but you can't ever leave. And you can't. You can't ever leave. You are a fan of Minnesota sports teams. You don't have a choice. You can't say, oh, the Yankees are good. Nope. The Yankees are dead to all of us. We have to continue to cheer for a team that spends $90 million when others are spending $350 million. We're, we're done. We're done. <laughs> Dude, this is, the, this is amazing. Oh, I love this guy. He's right. You don't get to choose. You live if Wherever you live, that's your team. If you're from somewhere else, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, get, you can root for the team where you grew up, okay? If you grew up in Minnesota and you live in Texas, you can still vote, root for the Vikings. But, like, if we're being honest, you don't get to cheer for a team out of state. Like, if you're a Minnesotan and you're rooting for the Packers, go ahead. You can be the contrarian. But this is your team. You don't have a choice. You just have to be pissed off all the time. That's what happens. That's part of it. That's part of life. You're assigned a team at birth, and then you die. That's it. And you don't win any championships here in Minnesota. That's the, that's the dark truth. Just get on board. I love this guy. I love it. Trying to eat while having a toddler. The third eye. <laughs> more powerful than you. So, third eye. Stronger than a light mage? He's not to be bluffing about that. Oh, point. that's gold. But he wasn't bluffing at all. This guy's got more power pouring off him than light. The Dude, your food is their done. food. Just FYI. If you have anything out, they want it. Just know that. This Man. sound is crazy. This thing's gonna sound bad. What the hell? What in the Willy Wonka? Uh, okay, I guess if you want to sound like that going down the road on your scooter, um, and if you want to own a scooter, there you go. I just met someone whose name was H A N N A, and I said, oh, Hannah. And she said, no, Hannah. I'm hanging on by a thread, people. I cannot do this. I love people who name their kids things that like defy English, you know? H A N N A. That's Hannah. It's not Hannah, it's it's Hannah. So, quit trying to be original. Quit trying to be authentic or unique, okay? Cuz probably not unique. No matter how you you twist the language. And that goes for a lot of things these days, you know, the different pronouns, blah, blah, blah. Liberal P word. Can't see that on YouTube. But, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. They uh, they want it back, man. And sadly, I think it might be coming back. A lot of places are already bringing them back. And they're all for it. Love it. They love it. Love being told what to do. You know. Disgusting, really. Lay off of it. It ain't good for your brain. Look, this, see this right here? That's your uterus. <laughs> Guys, I'm not fat. I just have a uterus. <laughs> now you know. Now you know. You're not fat, guys. You're not, you just got a uterus. When you forgot to check your husband's pockets. Wailer, got some tape in there. Yeah, make sure you check the pockets. Make sure there's no pens in there. Maybe those little toothpicks, I always carry those around. Found a new use for our kitchen aid. Hey, there you go. See, this is why they put those on your registry. A lot of people have those on their the egg beaters, or whatever, the mixers, put those on their registry. Probably not gonna use it more than once or twice a year, but if you use it right, like this, rock the baby then you'll use it all the time so make sure it's on your registry just kidding we're doing cash now very informative i've been vegan for three years but i eat eggs for breakfast every morning to get my protein the key is that you buy organic because organic means that the chickens were fed a vegan diet so since the chickens are fed a vegan diet that means that the eggs are vegan and i also eat organic chicken 
because chicken in itself, like chickens are not animals, they're birds. They're classified as poultry. So anything that comes from chickens is going to be vegan. I just like to take the extra step and make sure it's organic so I know that those chickens were fed a vegan diet. So it's like, it's really extra vegan. Uh, I wish that was real. Just so you guys know, yeah, it's, I wish it were real so we could laugh harder, but it is a great joke. It's a great joke. She's she's joking. She's joking. This man saved thousands on tolls. See, 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 see? Yes. That's genius. I knew I saw something going up. That's genius. I love it. Especially when you're traveling through Illinois and you're not from there. Like, screw your tolls. Screw them. You have a million of them. What is it, Pennsylvania, New York? You guys have a million tolls. It's insane. This is a little bit more criminal than the, uh, the leaf. You know, the magnet leaf. I think that one's pretty good too, the magnet leaf. Because then you could say, oh, it's a leaf, right? Don't do this, guys. This is against the law. Waiter at Olive Garden with Parmesan cheese. Say when. Me. That's right. <laughs> Did you hear the question, Senator? Yes. Okay. All right, I'm sorry, you all. We're going to need a minute. Just empty the whole cheese grater, man. Just, just put it all on. Tammy, what's your political views? Oh, hell yeah, Tammy. I love Tammy. Let's see, what does she got here? What's her political views? What? A, hell yeah. Hail to the yeah, what a burger. It's what a burger, not water burger, just while we're on it. I love it. That's just, her political views. Doubled middle fingers. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's uh, hell yeah. That's a valid political view these days. <laughs> With the golf ball going, it's crazy. <laughs> is that going to be good? Ready? Yeah. I gotta say, man, it looks like you did that on purpose. Either that or you're very non-athletic, man. What do they call that, a naff? Yeah, you know what that is, huh? When you got air in your tires. I had to get air in my tires. Oh. Yeah, how much did you pay for it, Camille? Dad, yeah. <laughs> always. 80 bucks. <gasps> Why, Camille? Oh. I don't know, they said I need a premium air or something. Cause it's a Mercedes. so disgusted. What? Well, you're kidding, right? No. You pay for somebody to put air in your tires? Yeah. Where? At some place down the street from the school. I want you to take me there now. <laughs> Camille, you're kidding, right? No. Camille, you're Wait. kidding. Yeah. What? Why did you? Could you? Did you? Did you tire light put on? Yeah. Because they do that when it's cold. Her light is on. My light is on. Camille. Uh, because well, it's cold. Well, it looked low. Camille. Well, no, no. And I had to go pick tie up, so I was. They charge you eighty dollars. Yeah. Um, text. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me your address. Okay. No. This. No. <laughs> How long did it take? Two minutes. I had to wait a little bit, but yeah, about five minutes. You know air is free, right, Camille? It was premium air or something. I don't no. know. They said it was a No. It's so bad. You know No. Tell him he's going to have a heart attack. I swear to God, I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> um, you, you gave them $80. Yes. How many tires did they put air in? Just the one that was low. Oh, no. <laughs> the front? Yes. Those are brand new tires. <laughs> It was low. And they charge you $80? Yes. Camille, you, you don't know how to put air in your oh, tire? No, 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 no. Oh, this is so <laughs> bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, this poor guy. Oh, I mean, it is a good joke. I, I have to say that, you know, there's that one. I've never heard of that one. Great joke. He was about to keel over, though, like, and rightfully so. If anyone charges you for air like that, that's a crime. And they deserve to get their ass whooped. That's just a fact. And then, uh, you know, the other one is putting diesel in a gas vehicle. I've seen that a bunch. 
yeah, dads out there, if that happens to your daughters, get real pissed. Go send a message. You have to. You have to. If someone gets scammed like that, you got to do it. How would you do in today's video? Did you laugh at all? If you did, you lose. And you got to watch it this Sunday. Test yourself again, all right? Also, don't forget, TylerZ.com, 50% off blowout sale. It's all got to go until next spring. The store is going to be closed. So if you need a hat, get your hat now. We've got some sweatshirts left. we got some coffee mugs. And again, it won't be open for about six months. Let me know how you did down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help us get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed. This is Education. 12, 15. Oops, stepping on them. There's a, it's black. Anyway. Idiots.